Hey guys, let's say you've been growing your beard out for a while and you need a trim, but you don't want to pay a barber hundreds of dollars to do it for you. Well, I'm going to teach you how to do a cheap trim at home. Now, the first thing you're going to need is a beard. I've been working on this bad boy for about four months and as you can see, it's coming in pretty good. Uh, but it is getting a little scraggly, so we need to clean it up. The next thing you're going to need is clippers. I prefer vintage clippers. These are 1958 Andis Masters, which I recommend very highly if you can find them. The next thing you're going to want is a little bit of inspiration. I have a picture of a man with a beard on my phone that I'm going to use as a template to get started. This is called the Jericho and uh, it's a little bit longer of a beard than I want to have but it should work for inspiration and a good starting point. Uh, as, I, as I go I can change it however I want. Next thing you're going to want is a mirror. I have a mirror here and I'm also going to be using the in-camera mirror to help along. You can also use your cell phone uh, camera to get really close and uh, you know have it on the selfie side and just kind of go along for like the finer details. Um, whatever works for you. First thing you want to do is start and trim around the bottom part of the beard. Okay, now using a comb, I would bring the beard down, have it all be kind of like uniform, uh, so as we trim it, nothing, nothing uh, changes, uh, you know, you want to have all the hairs going kind of in one cohesive direction. Now that our neck's cleaned up, we can get on with the, uh, the finer points and detail the beard how we want. Now I would recommend going around here, making sure there are no stray hairs around this part or, uh, or this part. Uh, you can also trim up the whole beard using, these are, these are for hair, this is for like head hair. But it works just as good on a beard. You just put it in, it gives you a little bit of room and you can run it all the way around the beard. And it gives it a nice even, it gives it a nice even uh, like length, which is one thing you want. Now you could stop here if you wanted to, just getting this, this part done, you know? Uh, now, once you have the neck edged up, the sides trimmed how you want, and the beard roughly all the same length, you could put on a little bit of eyeliner and call it a day. But some people are going to want to add a few more details and embellishments, and I'll show you how to do that next. Now, consulting your diagram, you can go ahead and use the clippers to start taking away the parts that you've outlined on it. Um, think of it kind of as uh, carving a jack-o'-lantern, only it's your face and it's with hair. Now, for the details, you can definitely still use the clippers. However, I would recommend using a straight razor or safety razor instead with a little bit of shaving cream. If you don't trust yourself on the free hand, you can definitely cut out the shapes or lines that you want to use in a piece of paper and use that as a template. All you have to do is lay it over your face, put the shaving cream on it, and then run the razor across. And you should have the shape you want. Stars, hearts, moons, basically anything you can imagine. All right, the perfect trim. That's basically all you can do at this point. I would recommend a little bit of makeup, 
maybe slicking the hair over, and uh, a bracelet or a puka shell necklace. But uh, that's about all we can do with this baby. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video, and I'll see you next time.